We're learning more about the man who police say shot and killed his wife before turning the gun on himself in West Suburban Villa Park. He'd just been released from jail on domestic battery charges. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey is digging into what went wrong in this tragic case and why the DuPage County State's attorney is pledging to fix the system as a result. Police said Winston Elgelzabel's electronic monitoring device told them that he was within a thousand feet of his estranged wife, but by the time they got to her just minutes later, sadly, both of them were dead. It worked exactly as it was designed and it still wasn't enough. The GPS monitor alarm sent Villa Park police to this home around midnight on Friday. Officers pulled two teenagers from the home before discovering Winston and Julie Elgezabal's bodies in a bedroom. The husband and wife died of apparent gunshot wounds, and the gun was found next to the husband. Winston Elgezabal had been arrested just 12 days earlier on April 14th and charged with domestic battery against Julie, but he was released two days later. The DuPage County State's Attorney's Office says that's because he did not meet the criteria for detention under the Safety Act. Oh, if there were questions about it, there's that 24-hour period that can be requested for an extension. Amanda Pyron, Executive Director of the Network Advocating Against Domestic Violence, thinks prosecutors could have and should have made a case for detention. She says court records show multiple orders of protection not involving his wife dating back to 2009. He was required to surrender all firearms and his FOID card to the Villa Park Police Department and stay a thousand feet away from her on electronic monitoring. It begs the question, how did he get a FOID card? How did he obtain firearms to commit this crime with that type of a history? We reached out to the Illinois State Police with that question, and a spokesperson told me they are now looking into the specifics of this FOID card application. As for what could be learned from this tragedy, Pyron says, We have to have prosecutors really examining these cases closely, using the available time in the PFA, talking to survivors prior to the hearing so that they understand the risk, and then helping those survivors get civil orders of protection that could potentially remove firearms uh, when, when that's necessary. The DuPage County State's Attorney says that less than 40% of domestic battery petitions to detain pretrial actually end in pretrial detention. He says he plans to meet with stakeholders in light of this case to try to change that. In Villa Park, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Invest. The Illinois State Police got back to us late today and said that a Gaza Ball's Foyd card had been reinstated in March of 2023 after a previous order of protection expired. It was then revoked after his domestic battery arrest this month.